Not even a single solitary moment. Okay, well, let's jump on into Jeff Wayne with the Eve of the War. No one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that human affairs were being watched from the timeless worlds of space. No one could have dreamed we were being scrutinized as someone with a microscope studies creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. Few men even considered the possibility of life on other planets. And yet, across the gulf of space, minds immeasurably superior to ours regarded this Earth with envious eyes. And slowly and surely, they drew their plans against us. Oh, crazy voice. Really nice voice. Let's... Wow, let's keep it going. They drew their plans against us. I was not expecting this. I'm loving this little little back and forth the synths having with the strings, dude. Uh, it's almost like humanity versus something foreign, something alien, dude. Uh, I'm loving this composition. It's just so synthy, so like nerdy music, proggy. <laughs> I'm gonna say proggy instead of nerdy, but I don't know. I'm, I don't take offense. I'm a nerd, dude. I, I'm loving this. What do you guys think so far? <laughs> Holy crap.
another quick pause, dude. We're about the halfway mark for this. This is so much fun. I'm loving this. It just has like the 70s kind of feel. I know it's from the 70s, right? But the strings just kind of date it in a sense, not in a bad way. You can just kind of really tell where this song comes from and it's fantastic. I'm loving it, dude. Just like the synth heavy new wave tracks of the 80s, dude, you can tell where a certain track comes from. Um, I'm kind of glad we're not getting any lyrics, dude. Like I, I was expecting lyrics to kind of tell a story, but no, we're letting the music tell a story, which is my favorite thing, dude. My favorite thing. Uh, Peaceful Rain, I am sending you a different link for today, then. If that is okay to change my song, of course, for sure. Let me just write that down real quick. You like this very much? Uh, let's, like I said, we have another half of the song to go. Let's keep it running, friends. Jeff Wayne, the eve of the war. Jeff Wayne, shout out to you, dude. Midnight on the 12th of August, a huge mass of luminous gas erupted from Mars and sped towards Earth. Across 200 million miles of void, invisibly hurtling towards us, came the first of the missiles that were to bring so much calamity to Earth. As I watched, there was another jet of gas. It was another missile, starting on its way. Another missile? spurting out from Mars, bright green, drawing a green mist behind it, a beautiful but somehow disturbing sight. Ogilvy, the astronomer, assured me we were in no danger. He was convinced there could be no living thing on that remote, forbidding planet. The chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one, he said. Are a million to one But still They come Then came the night the first missile Approached Earth It was thought to be an ordinary falling star But next day there was a huge crater In the middle of the common And Ogilvy came to examine what lay there A cylinder Thirty yards across, glowing hot And with faint sounds of movement Coming from within Suddenly the top began moving rotating, unscrewing, and Ogilvy feared there was a man inside trying to escape. He rushed to the cylinder, but the intense heat stopped him before he could burn himself on the metal. Whew. The chances of anything coming from Mars are... Quick pause, quick pause. So who was narrating is Richard Burton, and Justin Hayward is doing this voice right now, right? Um... So LS pointed out there's Hayward. I'm assuming that's the background vocals. Uh, well, these are main vocals right now, I guess, right? <laughs> um, dude, this is awesome. I'm loving it. We get, we're getting more story. Do, 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 do. Doctor Who vibes, right? Like a little bit. Uh, honestly, I've never watched, like, I don't think I've seen a single episode of Doctor Who. Unfortunately, I know it's pretty popular. Um... Actually, no, I think I've watched one episode, but it was so long ago, I don't remember. I think it was like the 2006 version. I don't know. Uh, let's get back into it. We're almost done, dude. Jeff Wayne, The Eve of the War. The chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one, he said. The chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one, but still they come. Yes, the chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one. 
totally incredible to me now that everyone spent that evening as though it were just like any other. From the railway station came the sound of shunting trains, ringing and rumbling, softened almost into melody by the distance. It all seemed so safe and tranquil. It was tranquil. Well, well, thank you for that. Jeff Wayne, Richard Burton, and Justin Hayward. The Eve of the War. Fantastic use of synthesizers, dude. I'm not sure if there was a Mellotron involved, but just great use of all the instruments, dude, to tell a story. Didn't even need, like, the narration, but I appreciated it. Were those like direct quotes from the book? Really gave me some like, like rush vibes mixed with a bit of like everything else, dude. Uh, a bit of Pink Floyd, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Dude, it was like funky. This was fun to listen to. It was progressive. Your eyes are like, I hope they don't find out that I'm from our... <laughs> Ooh. Well, I guess it's a little late now, huh? You y'all are following a, an alien. A Martian. You thought this was hair? It's my antennas. Dude, that was tight. I love, like, experimental music like this, trying to tell just, like, a... A cool sci-fi story. Dude, sci-fi stories and and rock music just go hand in hand just to make like one of the most nerdiest creations ever, dude. I don't know how to even make this product even more nerdier, but we should f try and find a way to do it. 